for those of you who are contemplating the iWalk, I think this is probably the best thing you could ever get. Uh, you saw I could go up a ladder, up and down steps. There's virtually almost nowhere, nothing I cannot do with this thing. Now, let me give suggest how you um, put it on and take it off. So the best way to do this is, um, is once you put your knee in it and you have it adjusted, start with the thigh strap first, hook that on and cinch it tight. That has to be extremely tight. Then put on, just right in a row, number two strap is right behind the knee, and the third strap is right behind the ankle. Don't have to be quite as tight as this one. This one has to be tight and stay tight. And it's kind of nice they have tabs, Velcro tabs, so they kind of hold these out of the way. But once you have it on, and you're good to go. It's gonna strengthen up this quadricep in about two weeks. But <laughs> I can tell you this, you're gonna have one strong left leg or right leg or you know, however it might be. So anyway, tell me what you think of it. Give me the thumbs up. And in case some of you are wondering how in the world did I break my right foot, well, I dropped a 110 pound whiskey barrel on it and broke number two, number three, number four metatarsals, uh, snap right across the middle. <laughs> so I spent two months on on that thing with my right my right foot. And interestingly, four years ago, I um, I slipped and that's kind of a long story, but I slipped and I there you see me carrying a basket down. I slipped and uh, broke the number one and number two, or I guess number five and four metatarsals on my left foot. So I bought the iWalk uh, four years ago and I had had no, had two months on my left foot. So I got pretty good at that thing. And just so you know, there was no way I was going to use uh, crutches. I Four years ago, when I was coming out of the um, hospital with uh, the crutches and I, I bet I fell twice before I got to the car and I knew there was going to be a better way. So when I got home I went on YouTube to figure out how to make my own peg leg and lo and behold here it's already invented called the iWalk. So the very next day I had it and I've been using it ever since and I will tell you I hope I never need it again. Uh, and by the way, for those of you who are wondering what kind of dog that is, I know you're going to ask me. He's half Alaskan Malamute and half German Shepherd. So, just to let you know, there's not much you cannot do with the eye walk. And believe me, if you think, you know, I, I'm going to fall with that, well, yeah, you are. <laughs> no doubt. But you're going to fall with crutches. And you're going to fall with one of those scooters. There's no doubt. But once you get the hang of anything, you eventually get uh, pretty good at it. And I'm... Uh, 57 years old, so I know it can be done. Thanks for watching.